my people on YouTube, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. God bless you. Now, I want you to know that there is something called power. And this thing called power has even got people kill each other. Why? Because they wanted power. <laughs> you see, every time you have power, there is how power makes you to feel. Sometimes power has made people to shift. Power has made people to move from one church to another. Why? Because they are looking at a place where they can be identified with the power. Today I declare and I, 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 I declare today and I decree that somebody you are receiving raw power today in the name of Jesus. As I speak it, may it be your portion in the name of Jesus, somebody that is under the influence of my voice, wherever you are and you are in need of this raw power you can type, I receive it in Jesus' mighty name. It doesn't matter where you are. You may be on Facebook, some are on TikTok, others are on email. Distance is not a barrier. I decree and I declare today you are leaving this place with an ability to acquire raw power. There is something that Jesus mentioned that he said that laborers are few but the work is great. I'm just trying to paraphrase so that you can get what I'm saying. Jesus said the employment is there but employees are few. The work is there but where are the workers? You see Every worker, every employee, every man that is working for God is always empowered for a certain season, for a purpose, and for a reason. Now, in other words, Jesus was saying that there is a lot of power, but there are only few people who are willing and ready to partake the power that God has made available for his people. I don't know if my people on Imo, you are getting me loud and clear. I am out of cables to connect you uh, from the sound card. But I believe you can get me loud and clear. Thank you so much. You see, every time God is doing something for somebody or for a certain place or for a certain season, God relies and depends on people. And this is why when God wanted to heal Shayla today, God trusted me with her healing. She, you heard her say she was wondering how will I even tell the man of God the kind of thing I'm going through. And God opened my eyes and he told me there is somebody here who is having this problem. And when she came, we prayed and you have heard her testify. I decree, Shayla, your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. What I'm trying to tell you is that, child of God, every time God wants to do anything in the lives of men, he will all, always depend on men to meet humanity. This is why I always tell you that any service you give to humanity is service given to God. And the writer says, some of you, you have ignored angels without your knowledge because they are angels who live in among us. They have the form of man. They eat like you. They walk like you. They dress and do everything like you. So sometimes if your eyes are not opened, if you don't have the light of God to identify, that this one is not ordinary. This is not normal. You can miss your blessing. You can miss your purpose. Why? Because you did not identify. You did not see. Somebody opened the, uh, the book of Matthew chapter number 6 verse 23. If you can pin it for me, pin it. Matthew chapter number 6 verse 23. I want to tell you that child of God, there is something we call raw power. Now, raw power is not something that 
<laughs> it's not something that child of God, you just wake up and you have raw power. Raw power is like the power that God gave to Elijah to call fire from heaven and fire came. Raw power is the power that God gave to Peter that when he was walking like this, the Bible records that people that were being touched by his shadow received their healing. Why? Because he was operating in the dimension of raw power. Uh, you know, some of us, we have heard of power and we have associated power with the witchcraft. We have associated power with the Illuminati. We have associated power with the devil and everything that is from the darkness and we forget that our God is all able. We serve an almighty God. You see when you say almighty, that word says or should tell you that God has all the power and mighty and there is no power above him and there is nothing and nobody that God cannot handle. But we have limited God and separated some things for God and others for our uncle, for our brother, our cousin in USA and other men thinking that God is only able to do one, two, three, but when it comes to, to four, five, six, seven, God may be limited. Child of God, it is a lie. It is a, it is a deception that you need to deliver yourself from today. Matthew chapter number 6 verse 20 says, 23, the Bible says, But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Give me verses number 22. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why and how I love this, 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 this verse so much. Every time somebody comes with blindness and they, they are complaining about the eye, this is my reference verse of healing. And it says from 22, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your, eye, if your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? How great is that darkness? So now I want to ask yourself, which side are you? The Bible tells you that the eye is the lamp of the body. This means that your eyes have the ability to light up. For you to be able to see the way. Huh? Where your body ought to be. Where your body ought to be giving the services that it is supposed to be giving. So if the problem, the, if there is any problem with your eyes, then this problem of your eye is going to affect your whole body. Because you need your eyes being the lamp of the body. Hmm. And the Bible says, if your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Remember, we are in the week of launching deeper. And you see, some of you, your eyes have never seen money. Some of you, your eyes have never seen prosperity. Some of you, your eyes have never seen a successful marriage. Some of you, your eyes have never seen things that are good and sweet. Huh? And we can only know by your story. We can only know by your testimony. We can only know by how you look. The Bible says, verse 23, if your 
eyes are unhealthy. So, child of God, if there is anything that you need to be keen in your life, if there is anything that you need to protect in your life, is your eyes. <sighs> you see, every time you expose your eyes where the light is, the light will enter you and your eyes will become a lamp of your body. Huh. Huh. You cannot be using your eyes for pornography. You cannot be using your eyes for everything that does not glorify God. And expect to operate and to move in the realms of raw power. In the ability of doing the impossible in the supernatural realm. In the gates of power, in the domains. Oh, you see, child of God, the difference between you and the people that you know who are powerful, who are rich, who have made it in life, is the light that has not entered you. Some of us, we desire to be rich, we desire to be someplace in life. We desire to see and experience some things in life. But then, child of God, you see, the problem is with where we are directing our eyes. The problem is where we are focusing our eyes. Because the Bible has already told you that your eyes are the lamb of your body. So if you want to experience joy, if you want to see happiness, if you want to see the breakthrough of God in your, in your life. You need to train your eyes. Hmm. If your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be affected. If your eyes have a problem, your whole body will experience darkness. Somebody take the host on emo. The Bible says, if then the light within you is darkness, how great is the darkness? Now imagine you having to live a life whereby you have no light of joy. You have no any light of money. You have no light of health. You have no light of peace. You have no light. Mm. Child of God, the, 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 the secret of you acquiring deeper realms, of you moving in deeper power, is when you begin to operate in the light that God has put in your life. I don't know if my people on TikTok, on Imo, you are getting me loud and clear. I told you I'm out of cables. I tried my best. I believe you can get me loud and clear on, on emo. Somebody please give me uh, numbers, chapter number 20. Numbers, chapter number 20. No, Exodus, please. Exodus, chapter number 20, verses number 21. Exodus 20, 21. Every time you begin a journey when you are walking toward a place or a destination that you don't have any information about, sometimes you will struggle. Why? Because you need some light. You need not only the, 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 the light from the source of from the sun or from your torch, from your whatever source you are using to shine your way. But at some point you will need the light of information. You will need to you will you will need to be informed. You see, some people sometimes people visit us at our headquarters, and when they call me, they tell me, Man of God, please tell me the directions. 
I am from this place. Where do I alight? How do I connect? Which road do I use? What is my stage? And every time I have given the, the, the people that have ever asked me those details, they have gone their way to our church. Why? Because the light of the sun was not enough to bring them to where we are. It took another level of light. The Bible says Exodus 20, 21, And the people stood afar off. And Moses drew near unto the thick darkness. Where God is. Listen and listen. Hear me and hear me well. You see, some of us, we are, we, are, we are surprised. How is it that God is in deep, thick darkness? The Bible says that these people, they were with Moses. But what caused a difference between them and Moses was the extra step that Moses had to take. The Bible says, ah, the people stood afar. Child of God, this year, if you are going to stand far, if you are going to keep your distance from prayers, if you are going to keep your distance from the word of God, if you are going to keep your distance from the services and having to learn, if you are going to stand afar, these people, they stood afar off. The Bible says, Moses, he drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. You see, by the time darkness, it should tell you that child of God, it is not easy for anybody to get to where God is. I know you want that Lamborghini, sorry. I know you want that presence of God to move with you. I know you want that marriage. I know you want that happiness. I know you want the money, but child of God, it will take you to know how to go deeper. Ah. Men who operate in raw power are people who know how to separate themselves from crowds. My, my prophet was teaching one day in the book of Mark, I will never forget, chapter number 6, from verses number 1. And he was talking about a particular man by the name Jethro. Hmm. This man had a daughter who was sick. And when he heard that Jesus was around, the Bible says a multitude of people were there. They had come to listen to what Jesus was teaching that day, just like you have gathered on Emo on Facebook and on TikTok. And the Bible says this man, he had an issue when he saw where Jesus was. The Bible says he ran to where Jesus was. And when he got there, he went on his knees at the feet of Jesus. He had a condition that the crowd did not have. He had a problem that the crowd could not understand. Ah, 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 ah. You see, child of God, this year, if there are people who are going to move and operate in raw power. There are people who knows how to make extra steps. I know you have served God for years. I know you have prayed. I know you have fasted. I know you have given your money. I know you have done everything you thought good and right to do for you to attract the presence of God. But don't be shocked when I tell you that still is not enough. You have prayed again. You have prayed, yes, child of God, pray, that, pray again. You have served God, child of God, go deeper. And huh, ask yourself, what was with Elijah? What was with Moses? What was with Peter? What is this that was with these great men that you do not have? The desire and the will of God is that child of God, 
you become somebody of substance somebody of value somebody who has got results in their lives ah, may god avail that grace may god avail that grace that somebody under the influence of my voice from today you will become a vessel of power imagine you the way you know you you carry god you are saved you confess jesus everywhere you go but there are people who spend almost the rest of their day in 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 bars and pubs taking alcohol and doing all the things you know as sin but you look at their lives they are prospering they are lifted ah. what is it with you that you cannot have a kind of life they are having what have they mastered what is the secret that you have not acquired mm, let me help my people on tiktok they are suffering a lot thank you jesus Thank you. I believe now on TikTok you can hear me loud and clear. I believe my people on TikTok now on Imo you can hear me loud and clear. God bless you. What is it with these people? They they don't know anything about God. In fact to to put it in a good way they don't have God. Hmm? These people they don't have God. You 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 have God. You have the power. You have the access. You are exposed to materials. You are exposed, you see. Ask yourself. Ask yourself sometimes why is it that pastor can pray for people they are healed? He is reading the same bible I'm reading. You know my desire is not to have people who when i'm not around prophecies will not be heard in our ministry again i will not be happy when i have people who when they have a problem the only thing they think of first is to call me that is not the idea that is not the ideal the plan of god i need to have people even when when if I am not saying you should not come to me but come to me at least with something like man of god I am having this problem I prayed but you see it at least you try to do something The reason why the power of god is hanging dormant and used is because we have become so lazy we want the man of god to do all the praying We want the man of God to do all the studying of the word. We want the man of God to do all the fasting. We want the man of God to be the one doing the sacrifices for us while lest our our biggest role in the house of God is to receive. Man of God, what prophecy do you have for us today? Huh. Man of God, I want you to pray for me. I am sick. Child of God, you see, you have the ability, the power to become somebody of results in your life but look look at your see yourself now look at yourself where you are do you think god is proud of you when you're living the life you're living do you think at all that god is proud of the level where you are right about now You need to begin to do something about your life. About your salvation, about your growth. Don't just be so comfortable when every time is the man of God pray for me. Man of God, church, please help me with this child of God. Begin to find ways to become a person who will operate in power. Imagine you, the Bible says that 
devil is under your feet. Under your feet. Literally, the devil is under your feet. So, this should tell you that you have authority over the devil. You having to know that you with the same information, knowing that I have authority over the devil, you will be so afraid of that witch from your village. You will be afraid of that sorcerer. You will be afraid of that wizard. Hmm. Yet the Bible has told you you have power <sighs> over the devil. Now, how is it that the person that is way, way under, under that, you know how low the, the, the witches are from the devil, the demons, and all the dark spirits. You be afraid, I, I don't, I fear that witch. I don't want to die, man of God, please. I, what will make you today to become a woman of power? And a man of power, the Bible says, is the light. The light that will enter you. What will cause you to make a, a this to, to have a distinction between you and the men and women from your village, the people that have been threatening you? What will cause you to, to, to step beyond that line? Is you having to sacrifice part of your time? To study, to pray, to do whatever it takes. You see, I told you when I began to admire to prophesy. I couldn't skip any video on YouTube that was speaking about prophecy. Uh, how? When I began to desire how to prophesy, I followed up every teaching concerning prophecy. I was there. <laughs> ah. Any teaching concerning prophecy. I was there. Why? Because I wanted to acquire a certain level of light. And when the light had taken its place. When the light of prophecy had totally taken its place. The prophecy in me began to manifest. The healings. The miracles you hear here, they began to manifest not because I fasted for 40 days. Don't be deceived. I'm not saying you should not fast. But I was not like, I was not fasting God. I'm fasting. I want power to heal. Ah. Raw power is hidden in information. I once told you, for you to get that job, some of you, you are working. Some of you, you are doing businesses. For you to get to that job where you, are, you earn, where you feed yourself, it was because of a certain information you received. Somebody, they came to you, they told you about this job. They told you about this opportunity. And when you had it, you took your time and initiative to follow the details you are given. Now, today I'm giving you details on how to become powerful, how to become a person of result, how to become a man of. How do you want to get there while you are ignoring the only road that leads to where you want to be? You cannot tell me, man of God, I'm going to Mombasa and I see you on Thika Road. <laughs> man of God, I want to go to Mombasa. You are on Westland. You are on uh, Western Bypass, we heading Western Kenya. You see, child of God, the moment you you realize the way, you will surely get there. The reason why some of you you know the way to you to the toilet, a simple thing like a toilet, is because somebody told you that is where the toilet is. And since that day, you have never lost your way to the toilet. Ah? How do you expect yourself to be powerless again? After you have followed the way that leads to power. You see, the moment you know the way to get there. The moment you have known the way on how to be. 
that woman of God that I want to be, that man of God that I want to be, child of God, you can never again be limited. I decree and I declare somebody under the influence of my voice, wherever you are, receive the grace, that grace and ability to study the word of God, to acquire more light in you that you will become that great woman you want to become. That great man you want to become. Child of God, your greatness is hidden in the ability for you to get to acquire the light of God. The deeper you go, the more power you acquire. A powerful church is a church that is founded on the written word of God. A powerful church is a church that understands the essence of the relationship between the church and God. I told you some of you the reason why you have no shame to call me anytime is because of the relationship we have with you. There are people they know if I call the man of God he will answer. Even if he doesn't answer he will call back. They know if I type the man of God a message. Now, what has given you that confidence that you know when you call? It's not, it's not a must I, I take. I answer your call. It is in my power to choose whether to answer that call or not. It is in my power to choose whether to reply your message or not. Of course, sometimes you see, we can be busy here and there. But I don't guarantee you that every time you call me, you type me, I have to respond. But I'm talking about what, you see, there is something that gives you an ability, a confidence that if I call the man of God, he will answer. It will be an error for you to believe that, you know, there are people who believe. They believe where if we go to Pastor Jephthah and he prays, we will see God. It will be an error for you to have such kind of faith in me and fail to have the same faith in God. What is the point? That you believe in your man of God more than God? Ha! Ha! It is an error. Child of God, you see, you have an ability. You have the power. You can make that call. You can make that prayer. Ah, somebody under the influence of my voice, I beseech you tonight, don't be lazy. Give yourself to pray. Give yourself to searching the deep things of God. How is it that we trust men of God so much than we trust God? Some of you, even you here, you are here, you know yourself, you trust in me more than you trust in God. Such that something will happen to you, the first thing you think about is the man of God, child of God. Who told you that you, I am not a broker of the power, I'm not. <laughs> you have access when the Bible says, call unto me and I will answer, it is guaranteed. If I can call and God can answer me, God can answer your prayer. God can answer your desire. God can move for you, child of God. You need to move from that level of trusting in the man of God. And begin to trust in God that the man of God carries. Because the same God of the man of God is the same God that can work with you and in you and for you. Don't be lazy. My man of God is so powerful, I don't need to pray. Ah. My man of God is powerful. Ah, I don't need to, I don't need to work so hard in the scriptures and all these things. Child of God, do not ignore. Do not ignore the essence of prayer. The essence of reading the word of God. The essence of service to God. Father, I pray for your children wherever they are. Open them up to your light. 
Some of them are having struggles to read the word, to pray, and to serve you. Today, Lord, avail the grace. Any hindrances that hinders them to read your word, to get to know you, to understand you, to serve you, how you want them to serve them, Lord, I pray. Let it be defeated out of their ways in the name of Jesus. Receive your access to pray. Receive your access to read the word. As I speak it, let it be your portion. In Jesus' name, somebody under the influence of my voice, wherever you are, you can type amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if you have anybody sick in our midst. You can raise your hand. You are here, you are sick. Raise up your hand. I want to pray with you. Those that are on Facebook, kindly type. I will pray with you and God will heal you right about now. Those that are on emo, raise up your hand. We, I'm going to pray for you and God is going to touch you in a mighty, special way in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Adonai. I can feel the power of God in this place already. I can feel God moving for somebody in this place already. I want to prophesy to the life of some few folks on Facebook, on TikTok. If you are watching on Facebook, keep on commenting so that I can see you. Keep yourself visible. Uh, let us know where you are watching from. And we will be so glad to hear from you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are on TikTok, please uh, be, uh, be visible. About now, if you are here, you are sick, raise up your hand. God is going to move for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Chosen on Facebook. I don't know if you know anybody by the name Rhoda. Chosen on Facebook. I don't know if you know anybody by the name Rhoda. Ah, I don't know if you know anybody by the name Rhoda. Chosen on Facebook. Pamela is saying I'm sneezing a lot and causes my chest to pain so hard. Put your hand on your chest. In Jesus' name, Father, I direct this prayer to wherever Pamela is. In Jesus' mighty name, let that issue be fixed right now. I rebuke any pain on your chest. In Jesus' name, let that sneezing cease right about now. Let the power of God reach you and move in a mighty special way. As I speak these words, wherever you are, Pamela, experience God. May you encounter this power. In Jesus' mighty name, wherever you are, receive it. Experience it. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Phyllis, how are you going on? How are you going on? Just type. How are you going on? Chosen, I don't know if you know anybody by the name Rhoda. Please, you can type for me on, on Facebook. I don't know if you know anybody by the name Rhoda. Uh, Phyllis, how are you going on on TikTok? Thank you, Jesus. I can feel the glory of God in this place. Do you have any sick people here? Please be, 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 be bringing me sick people, like 100, like this, 200. Uh, be bringing them. Tell them there is a place where God heals. They don't have to go through pain and sickness. Pamela, I'm waiting for, oh, I'm waiting for choosing. Uh, do you know, do you know Rhoda? I'm just asking. Chosen on Facebook, please be quick to respond uh, so that we can proceed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus. You see, every time I look at Tansala, I see doors opening. Who is this who was raising the hand? Uh, Jackie Orina. Uh, oh, it was a mistake. Okay. Uh, every time I, I look at you, Tansala, 
I see, I see doors opening in your life. This month, may your blessing come forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the blessings of God come forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as I speak it, let it be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Your niece is still on, in hospital, Phyllis. May God move and touch your niece from where she is. I decree and I declare the power of God in the name of Jesus. Healing is her portion. Tomorrow, by this time, she will be totally free, totally healed. As I speak it, let it be your encounter, let it be your story, let it be your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing people, it's like they have been trying to play with your papers. But I'm seeing a call coming your way, Phyllis. And this job you have been looking for is going to come to you in Jesus' mighty name. In the next seven days, as I speak these words, your, your testimony will have realized. You will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. That job is coming. That job is coming. But again, you need to close your door to some people in your life. Because there are people who you even know they caused your downfall, your downfall to happen. And even right now, I see you, it's like you are still tolerating them. The Lord told me to tell you, you need to close your, those doors for these people who hurt you, you know them. Some of them, they hurt you, but right now, you are still with them. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense to you, Felix. The Lord says you need to close that door because I'm seeing them even at a point causing you tears and regrets. May God keep you from them. May God of heaven keep you from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, she's saying it is making sense. You see, these people, some of you don't need them. You don't need you you know what they did to you. You don't need them, Phyllis. Let them go. God is able to bring you useful people in your life. Let it be your story from where you are. Let it be your story from where you are. Let it be your story as I speak it. So shall it be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know who is struggling with uh, pains on the ribs on, on Imo. God wants to heal you right about now. You are on Imo. It's like you, are, you have been having some pains on your ribs. Bavu. God wants to take to set you free. Right about now in the mighty name of Jesus. Chosen says she doesn't know Rhoda. She doesn't know Rhoda. Wow. Who is that on tick on emo? It's like you have been having pains on your ribs. God wants to set you free right about now. Your freedom has come. Your freedom has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray for my mom. Uh, brother Daniel Muir. Pray for my mom. What, what does that mean? Oh, you are the brother to your mama. Oh, I get it, Mary. I get it. Pray for my mom, brother Daniel Muir. I pray for Daniel, wherever he is. I'm seeing a lot of confusion in his life. 
I saw a lot of confusion in his life. And I'm seeing a lot of scandals pertaining marriage. Hmm? I don't know if I'm making sense to you, Mary. You can type me so that I, I talk to you well. You see, it's not every day I wake up like this. I want to welcome, I want to, to help Daniel. I don't know why I lost, I lost my feedback on, on, okay, I've got you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I saw something like a scandal. And this scandal was connected to something to do with women. Connected to Daniel Muiru. She's saying it is true. This Daniel Mwiru has been having, it's like he will be in this problem. After it ends, another one, another one. It's like from one problem to another, one challenge to another. Now, today, God is changing the life of Daniel Mwiru. God is changing the life of Daniel Muru. But I peeped in the realm of the spirit and I saw him. It's like a lot of smoke coming from his mouth. I don't know if he's smoking. I don't know if he... Does he smoke? Uh, Mary, this man, you are Daniel uh, Muru. Is he a smoker? Because I saw something like a lot of smoke coming from his mouth. She's saying, true daddy. You see, this smoking habit, if he doesn't stop, it is going to cause his death. Because right now as I'm speaking to him, I'm speaking to you, I'm seeing him coughing, so hard coughs. And it's like even at some time he was so sick, he was coughing and something like blood was coming from his saliva. I don't know if I'm making sense. You let me know. Hmm? I saw him coughing and blood was coming out of his, his mouth when he's coughing. Because of this dreaming, uh, this smoking issue. I am praying for this Daniel that God will touch his life and restore his health. I decree and I declare that Daniel Muru will not die prematurely in the name of Jesus. Every issue on his lung in the name of Jesus Christ let it be broken in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing something like his voice his vocal cords I don't know if you talk to him Mary please respond so that we prophesy respond so that we prophesy I'm seeing something like his vocal cord his voice has begun to be so deep at some times when he is talking he's like I don't know if you know what I'm saying help me understand what is the problem with this voice just type me what is the problem with this man's voice Daniel Mweru Daniel Muir, okay, Muiruri. What is the issue with his voice, please? That's what, that's what is important. I want to know so that I can, I can see how we are going to help Daniel Muiru, Muiruru. Uh, forget about it. Daniel, do you have anybody sick on TikTok, please? Type. We are going to pray and God is going to heal you today. Oh, see, you are commenting both on Facebook and on TikTok. 
You see, God is going to move for Daniel. I decree and I declare wherever Daniel is, may the power of God bring about a difference between death and life. He will live a life of the living. As I speak this word, let it be his portion. In Jesus' name, you said you are coming on Imo, come very fast. Come up, come up, take number five and talk to me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, somebody please unlock that seat. Okay, come. I, I saw I saw something. What is the problem with this uh, Daniel's voice? Yeah, because he used to drink bandy, cigarette, beer, type of alcohol. Yeah, because I saw it's like his voice be- began to to be disfigured. It was distorting. Even, even Chiwin, Chiwin Mela. And I also saw him sometimes coughing and spitting blood. I don't know if that is the same Daniel I'm talking about. Yeah, that's true. I also saw something like a scandal with women. Not once, not twice, like somebody's wife. Eh? Even marriages. Huh? The ladies. Even marriages. God is moving for Daniel in Jesus' name. Yeah? God is moving for Daniel because what the devil did was to put up a trap in these things he does alcohol. Because they yeah. influence him to do some things because even his, his mother alive. Yeah. I saw his mother crying so much. I saw him selling something yeah. like a goat. I don't know if you are aware of what I'm talking about. Huh? It's true. So don't just say it is true because the man of God is speaking. No, that is true, Daddy. That's true. I decree and I declare any trap that the enemy have put has put against the life of Daniel. Amen. May it be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak life. New life. I arrest any appetite, any interest, any addiction of drugs in his system. Let it die right about now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing upon his lungs. Restoration. Today, wherever you are, Daniel, you are a new creation. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. It is done. He he is safe and he will see God. Even as a a blood Mom, they are just like that. May God move for them all. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God move for them all. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done. It is done. Amen. Jackie, I believe now I'm hard better on on emo I believe I'm hard better on emo uh, thank you Jesus it is done you will see God you will see God you 
Sigo. Do you, do you know Benedicta, something like that? Maybe. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Do you, do you know Benedicta? Benedicta. Benedicta. Oh, wow. I hope I'm hard on t- on Imo. I'm asking if you know Benedicta. Benedicta. Somebody type it for her. Come up, come, come up with again, Dad. Do you, know, do you know anything to do with the Benedicta? Benedicta. I don't know that. It's like a church. Do you have anybody in your family that is that is going to this Catholic church? Yeah, this this church I this church it was when my that my uncle was going when I was in Kenya. Yeah, I can I can, I can see it in my face. I can see it. I can recognize. So but now he does but now he does not go. So this Benedicta is connected to this you are you you said he's called who Daniel. Yes, he is Daniel. Because I'm seeing Benedicta, Benedicta, Benedicta. Jesus Christ. The Lord God is restoring your uncle in his life. Amen. Amen. Don't be surprised when you hear him go to church because something is about to happen and I, I speak speed upon it in less than 21 days. Because if this thing does not take place fast, this man might die. She is not going to die. I decree and I declare from where Daniel is. Let the burden of God supersede any burden of drugs, any burdens of the world, and any work of the devil in his life in Jesus' name. I declare this word with my eyes closed and my eyes open. I decree and declare in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever Daniel is, he will be established. Amen. It is done. It is done. Our God is great. He is well able. And this is a very small thing before my God. He will do it. Right? So you believe have faith. You are going to testify. I have spoken. May God glorify himself through the words of his servant. What the John is saying, I had a downfall in my business. I had invested close to 800,000 in my business. I have struggled. Although at the moment I really do not understand what is happening in my life. Please help me understand uh, what the issue is and how to deal with it. Uh, this one, I love it. You see, John, John Mwadi, you said you want to understand the issue. Why you put up a business of 800,000 and this business did not work? Huh. Are you still there? Keep typing, you see. I don't want to prophesy to the air. I want to speak to real people on Facebook. You are here, you are sick. Raise up your hand. Type me. If you are on TikTok, raise up your hand. Those that are on e on you on TikTok type emo, raise up your hand on Facebook type. Be quick to type Mwadi. If you are still there, let me know. Thank you, Jesus. 
You see, Mwadi, I, I believe you're there, John. Type me so that I can talk to you. I want to speak to real people. In the name of Jesus. Ah, okay, seems like he's not here. So what we can just do is maybe to pray because also I'm saving time for my people to rest. Oh, you are there. Now, one of the problems that affected you, I don't know why I'm seeing something to do with the women. I'm not saying you you used to love women, no. But I'm seeing like two women that are the cause of your downfall. If I'm making sense, please you type so that I go deeper. I wish to talk to you. I wish to help you. I wish to help you understand as you asked me to do. So one of the, the major thing that I saw is like I saw two women behind your downfall and you having to lose this 800,000 worth business. Hmm. Another thing that the Lord tells me to tell you is at a point you misdirected the purpose of God. Because I'm seeing you being so active. So active in the things to do with the church and the ministry. If I'm making sense, please you type me so that I talk to you. But the Lord God told me, you will be restored. But this time around, I'm seeing you rising. Don't worry about the business that didn't work. You have today, and you have the son of the sharpest prophet speaking to you. So be guaranteed that after this service, you are going to experience a very massive progress in your life. Do we still have John Mwadi in the house? Naomba tu amani kwa hii nyumba na pitia mengi. Kadia kuja, mi ni mekurumia sana. Patia na fasi aje hapa. Mtu apatia kadia tsuma na fasi aje. Come, come, come. I'm coming. Let me pray for John. John, don't lose hope. You are going to rise again. You are going to rise again. You are going to rise again. I'm seeing you trying to apply for something. I don't know. I see you borrowing money. I, I saw you like trying to borrow money. If it is true, just type yes. I was trying to borrow money. As I wait for you to respond, I want to pray for Gadea. Gadea, put your hand on your head. Father, from where Gadea is, favor upon her head. Favor upon her head. From today, may she experience your favor. As I speak this word, let the power of God move and touch her life. From today, you will operate in favor in Jesus' name. Where you are rejected, be accepted. Peace is your portion after this service. You are going to excel in the name of Jesus. As I speak it, so shall it be your portion in Jesus' name it is done. Now, John, he's saying very true. I'm just trying to show you that God is speaking so that when I give you a prophecy, you will believe what God is saying. I don't have to go to how you have been borrowing money. I don't know what. What I'm interested in is you having your solution. The Lord told me to tell you, you are going to rise again. And I saw somebody giving you 400,000 shillings. And they gave you a very easy plan on how you will pay them back. And out of these 400,000 shillings, I saw you begin a business. And 
with progress, I saw you making profit. 200,000. 300,000. And I'm seeing your business rising to stocks of millions. And the Lord told me that those that are laughing at you right now, some of them, they are going to work for you. Mark my words. I'm seeing you having a branch in Mombasa. I'm seeing you doing business in Nakuru. As I'm speaking these words, may God move for you. Be established. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. You will testify. It is done. You will know that I carry God. In Jesus' name, somebody, wherever you are and you believe in my God, help me type Amen. I want everybody, wherever you are, and you are in a position to do your offering, don't run because we are asking for money. It is the same money you are asking for that has got this ministry running and that has bought all this equipment. So we need the money to preach the gospel. You are in a position to do your offering. The number on TikTok will be, it is on my DP. Today it was supposed to be running on my Facebook. I forgot to update it. On email, somebody's going to pin the number there. Those that are wondering what number is this, wherever you are and you are able to take it. On Facebook, somebody, ah, on Facebook it is pinned on the comments. So go there, pick that number, do whatever offering you can do, and God will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every giver tonight. From where they are, as they part with their money, may they receive something in exchange. Some are trusting you for great doors. Let those doors open. Some are trusting you for breakthroughs. Father, move in a mighty special way. I decree, I declare your grace and your power upon each and every one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, prosperity on Facebook, on TikTok, on Emo. May God move even to those that are watching a recap on YouTube. May God locate you in Jesus' name. At your very point of need, may God touch you tonight. Arise and be who God wants you to be. In Jesus' mighty name, as I speak these words, let it be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody under the influence of my voice, wherever you are, you can type, Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. It is done. John, my number is there. Somebody help John. Somebody on Facebook help John get that number. It is also there on that comment section. And your life will never be. Let me help you. We have the technology. It is coming on your screen right about now. I believe it is there. Uh, that's the number. So use it wisely. And God will bless you. Thank you so much everybody for coming. Uh, tomorrow, when is tomorrow? Monday. We are entering in sensitive times. And I encourage people to pray. This week we are entering. I declare it a week of prayer. Let people pray. You don't have to fast, but take your 30 minutes, take your one hour, take your 20 minutes, take whatever time you can and pray. Pray. It is who we who are in the hidden places of power looking for relationship with God that can receive what God is releasing to his people. I urge the church on TikTok, on Emo, on Facebook to pray. Let us pray this week and God is going to move in a very mighty, mighty, glorious way. May God bless you, increase you and do you wonders in Jesus' name. Shalom. Back to you, Jackie, and God bless you. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you, man of God, for that wonderful service.
thank you too for praying for us, for even prophesying the prophecies that you have given. We thank God for the testimonies to those who testified. And I, I pray that you guys are continue seeing our sister Justin so that uh, by tomorrow to tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening we could have finished what we want to do. So kindly see our sister Justin, our sister and brothers who are here. Uh, if you go to our prophetic and encounter group, there is a number there for Sister Joseph. Kindly, you can give it to anything that you might feel that it, uh, if you know that has been a, a blessing to you, kindly send to her anything uh, so that there is an urgent issue at hand so that we finish up. To our sisters who are there, thank you so much, and I believe also you have seen our sister. Uh, so don't